Hi there, and welcome to Malwix.com. In the previous video, we have set up hostname and private name servers to our server and this video, we will continue on how to set up or update our DNS for our cPanel server on our Contabo account, so if this sounds good to you, then let's get started. First, let's go ahead and log into our server provider where our server is hosted at, and in our case, it is on Contabo, so let's do it. Next, click on the reverse DNS management link or menu. We will edit the value here into our server's hostname, which in our case, cloud.mawix.xyz and for you, will be cloud.yourdomain.com. Now let's go ahead and check if our RDNS has been updated correctly to our hostname. To do this, let's open up our SSH client and log into our server via SSH. I will run sudo su root command to log in as root. If you are using your root credentials to log in through your SSH client OT Bitvice then you don't have to run sudo su root command. Next, run the following commands. Host space your server's IP address. The result should show your hostname pointed along with the default PTR record value of your server, which looks like this. It is a reverse IP along with these characters which is pointed to your new updated hostname in which we have set up in our cPanel web host manager recently. If this don't show right for you, Please leave a comment and I will personally help you with your concern further or you may also submit a question on our community support forums at community.malwix.com. Another way of checking that our RDNS has been updated correctly is in our cPanel slash WHM server slash to check on that, let's go ahead and log into our server. Then we go and navigate to the email deliverability section. Then let's check our DNS result if it is valid or else, troubleshoot using the instruction given, if any. Here is our RDNS section to check. Looks like it's valid as you can see. And that should be all for this tutorial video. In the next video for this course, we will continue on the other tasks as mentioned here on our notepad. And before I forget, if you learned something in this session, please consider liking this video and let me know, learned, in the comments, or else leave your questions so I can help you further. And stay tuned in my next video because I will shout out or mention people randomly from the top 10 comments in my videos. Until next time, take care.